So welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad update video. We did one a couple days ago, that was for the 4th of November. Today we've got the 6th of November squad update. So this one is a brand new one. As always, we're going to take a look at the players that got removed, added and updated. And I'll also take a look to see if there's any new faces that got added or the third kit. So I hope you do enjoy. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like for me. Make sure you subscribe as well. We've got 65% of you guys watching the videos but not subscribed. If you want to know all the latest FIFA 21 news, make sure you subscribe right now. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. They've got a new and improved app and they want you to try it out. It's cleaner, simpler and smarter than ever. Now this app is the only football app I've got on my phone because it covers everything. So if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you use my link in the description. You can download it for free. So before we even apply the latest squad update, let's take a look at the players that get removed from this update. So the first guy today is David Brailer. I think this guy got added in the last squad update. Now he's getting removed. I could be wrong, but I think I remember him. Uh, he plays for Astra, Giorgio or something, 18 years old at Cam. This guy had an overall of 60, potential of 82. We have Manuel Rofo from Buenos Aires, aka Boca Juniors. 20 years old, goalkeeper. This guy had an overall of 64, potential of 80. Arnstad from Underlecht, 57 overall, potential of 79. I think his name's Delang. This guy plays for PSV, 59 overall and 79 potential. So not the full list, obviously, but just the highest potential rated players. Make sure you go to Save FIFA if you want to see the full list. So now that we're done with that, let's apply the latest squad update. Go to the edit teams, go to download updates and click yes. And then you should be good to go from there. So now it's time to take a look at the players that got added with the squad update. So first up, we have Jeremy. This guy plays for Villarreal. He's 17 years old, 64 overall, potential 82. And then we have Cueto from Real Oviedo. This guy's 19 years old, 64 overall with a potential of 82. And then we have Brian Brobby from Ajax, 18 years old, a striker, 65 overall with an 82 potential. Danny Ejo is up next. This guy plays for Atletico Banfield, 18 years old, 59 overall with an 81 potential. And then we have Wilfred Nonto from Zurich, 16 years old, 56 overall, 81 potential. And then we have Ledesma from PSV, 19 years old, 66 overall, 81 potential. And then we have Balog from Parma, 18 years old, with a 64 overall and a potential of 81. So those were just the main highlights, some of the highest rated potential players that got added. If you want to check the full list, go to Save FIFA. So now it's time to take a look at the players that got updated with this squad update. So we're going to begin with Valverde from Real Madrid. All the stats stay the same for him. His overall 83, potential 90. The only thing that changed was his weak foot. It went from three stars now to four stars. Next up, we have Arfa from Juventus. Now, all the stats stayed the same for him except for his potential, which went from 89 down to 88. Still a good player, 54 million. Next up is Noni Madueke from PSV. All the stats stay the same for him. He's got a 71 overall and an 87 potential. The only thing that changed for him was his weak foot. It went from three star up to four stars. Next up, we have Matthias Kanha from Berlin. And this guy got upgrades to short passing, free kick accuracy, ball control, long shots, positioning, vision, composure as well. His overall went from 78 up to 79, and his potential stays at 87. Next up, we have Steven Bergwijn from Tottenham Hotspurs, 23 years old. He's got an overall now of 82. It went down from 83. His potential went down from 88 down to 87. And stamina went down from 79 down to 77. Next up is Mats Hummels from Dortmund. This guy got upgrades to heading, reactions, jumping, standing, sliding tackle. Overall rating went up to 87. And potential went from 86 up to 87 now as well. Next up, we have Luis Diaz from Porto. All the stats stay the same for him except his potential. It went up from 86 to 87 now. Jamie Vardy is up next from Leicester City. And he's 33 years old. His overall went up by one. It is now 87. Potential also increased to 87 now as well. But he also got some upgrades to crossing, dribbling, long passing, ball control, agility, reactions, balance, stamina. His weak foot also increased from three stars to four stars. Next up, we have Sobersly from Red Bull Salzburg, 20 years old, a cam. This guy got a couple upgrades to crossing, short passing, volleys, ball control, acceleration, agility, reactions went down, balance went down, shot power goes up. There's also some more changes, but his overall stays at 75 and his potential stays at 80. Next up, we have Manor Solomon from Shakhtar Donetsk. This guy got upgrades to crossing, finishing, dribbling, stamina, strength, standing tackle. His overall went up from 73 up to 74. Potential stays at 86. Next up, we have Paul Torres from Villarreal. Center back, 23 years old. He got some upgrades to heading, strength, and marking. His overall also went up from 78 up to 79 now. Potential stays at 86. 
Next up, we have Jules Kunde from Sevilla. This guy got downgrades to heading, short passing, upgrade to long passing, downgrade to ball control. Jumping went up, strength, aggression, interceptions all went up. There's also a couple more changes there, but his overall stays at 79 and potential stays at 86. Next up is Marcos Antonio from Shakhtar Donetsk. This guy's a center mid, 20 years old. Couple upgrades to finishing, dribbling, ball control, Strength, positioning, marking, composure, overall went up from 72 up to 73, and potential went from 85 up to 86. The next up is Tete from Shakhtar Donetsk as well. This guy's a right mid, and a couple upgrades to crossing, finishing, heading, stamina, positioning, marking, standing tackle, composure. His overall increased from 75 up to 76, potential stays at 86. Next up is Gavadio from Dinamo Zagreb. He is a center back. Couple upgrades to acceleration, sprint speed, stamina, strength, interception, standing tackle, sliding tackle. Overall went from 69 up to 70 and potential stays at 86. Next up is Varati from PSG, 27 years old, a center mid. All the stats stay the same for him except his potential, which went from 87 down to 86. He also has an 86 overall. Next up is Lucas Hernandez from Bayern Munich. A downgrade to short passing and potential also downgraded to 86. His overall went up to 83 and aggression went up as well. And next up is Abel Ruiz from Braga and this guy got an upgrade to long passing and his potential also increased by three and went from 83 up to 86, which is not bad. Next up is Curtis Jones from Liverpool, 19 years old, a center mid. Couple upgrades to crossing, long passing, reaction, stamina, aggression, interception, marking, standing tackle, composure. His overall went from 66 up to 67. Potential stays at 85. Next up is Ezequiel Palacios. This guy plays for Bayer Leverkusen. All the stats stay the same for him, including the 77 overall. The only thing that changed was his potential. It went from 86 down to 85. Next up is Dodo from Shakhtar Donetsk. Positioning went up, marking went up, overall went up to 73. Potential goes from 86 down to 85. And next up is Matias Arezzo from Atletico River Plate. And this guy got an upgrade to the overall, which went up to 64 now. And potential also went up by 2. It is now 85 potential. Finishing went up, heading, short passing, volleys, dribbling, reaction, shot power, long shots, and much, much more for this guy. Next up is Victor Kornienko. This guy got a massive upgrade to his potential. It's gone up by 6 points. It is now 85 potential. So that's pretty good. He also got an overall upgrade to 71. And a lot of upgrades to heading, volleys, dribbling, stamina, long shots, positioning, vision, marking went down. Composure went up and a few other stats there. Next up, we have Mohamed Tarbouni from AZ. And this guy's 18 years old. A couple upgrades to short passing, reactions, marking, standing tackle, sliding tackle. His overall also went from 64 up to 65 and potential went from 83 up to 84 now. Next up is Lee from Valencia. This guy's a cam, 19 years old. Short passing went up, aggression positioning went up as well. Overall increased from 74 up to 75. He keeps the 84 potential. And then finally on my list today is Dennis Mann. This guy's 22 years old. All the stats stay the same for him except his potential. It went from 83 up to 84. His overall remains at 74. So obviously not the full list, just the main highlights here of the highest rated potential players. Go to SoFIFA for more. Now when it comes to third kits, this squad update is not going to be the one that unlocks anything in terms of third kits. I checked and there's nothing here. Also in terms of the real faces that we're still waiting to see in the game, it's not going to be this squad update as well. You can see Gabamon, uh, he's got the bold head. Manalas with the bold head as well and Gomez with the bold head so they've still got the placeholder faces for this one So I hope you did enjoy this squad update video. Please leave a like for me if you did Please subscribe as well for more career mode squad update videos And if you need something else to watch, please make sure you check out this FIFA video hit the card in the middle It'll take you right there. I'll see you next time